Hello guys, it's me, Boku Satsun. Here today we are talk we're gonna talk about well Gal Ranger. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we're not talking about Gal Ranger. <laughs> we actually kinda are, but still. <laughs> we're actually talking about Power Ranger Wall Force. Basically the American version of Gal Ranger. You'll see what I'm talking about later. So, I finished watching Wall Force and I gotta say Wild Force is somewhat interesting, but also at the same time, it's a copy and paste of the Sentai version, which make it boring as heck to watch. And the thing about that, I was getting so hyped to watch Wild Force, we watched Wild Force, like, the last time I watched Wild Force was like back in 2019, when Power Rangers was still on Netflix, I watched like half of it. And like, the last episode I stopped on, on Netflix, for Wild Force was the episode when Cole, at the episode when Master Org revealed that, oh yeah, uh, I kill your parents, Cole. I kill your parents because I was jealous that, that, that I was jealous that they had a life and love and happiness and I didn't. Yeah, Master Org was, wasn't a good villain though. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that was the last time. That was the last time I watched Power Rangers on Netflix. That's no, kidding. I mean, for Wild Force, not not Power Rangers in general. The last Power Rangers season I watched on Netflix was in space before Netflix decided to take it off. I don't know. Netflix is dying, so sure, let's take sure let's take all the good content off off our streaming website, off our streaming platform. Good day now on YouTube to watch, but not all season, but still. So anyway, back. <clears throat> so anyway, back. On what I was saying, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, fuck, fuck, what was that? Yeah, the character. Okay, sorry. Also, I'm gonna be zoned now because Wild Force is just a doozy at times. So the character we have Cole, we have Taylor. We have Max, Danny, and Alyssa. We have Princess Slate. Sarah. We have Princess Sayla. Shayla. We have Merrick. We have well, we have Matt the Orc and Ginger Axe and Toxica, and a couple of, of other Duke Orcs. And like other Duke Orcs. Then then my boy Zanaku, but we'll get we'll get to Zanaku. So. Also, we we also had like uh, General Nazor, the name was, and uh, what the heck was that other orc name? The two, the, the orc that sounded like a man or woman. I totally forgot. <laughs> so anyway, let anyway let's talk about Cole for a second. What the heck was Cole's character? <laughs> like, it's hard for me to explain, but like. Cole was somewhat, Cole was an interesting good Red Ranger, but at the same time, he was missing something. He was, he was definitely a copy and paste of Gal Red from Gal Ranger, not surprised. Because, both shows had the exact same plot. I'm sorry, you cannot, you cannot, <coughs> you cannot tell me otherwise. It, it's pretty much true. Don't, I don't know why it has the exact same plot, but it does. <laughs> but, <laughs> freak, how can I say that? Okay. But, okay, I'm afraid. Sorry. But, Cole was just, I don't know. I like Cole. But at the same time, there are, same time, there are moments, that, there are moments in the show that make Cole feel, well, really boring as a character. He he tried to act like I'm the leader of all the brooding bad boy type. He wasn't brooding, but still. And also, <clears throat> Saban, what was the point of that final episode of Cole being shirtless or fighting all all those fighting Master Org with the others? <laughs> this is a kid show. The PC. Again, then Super Sentai does this as well, but still. Really? Really? 
Really? Really? This, this isn't Cornhub. Calm down, Saban. Calm down. I know, Cole isn't your Lord and Savior, Golden Boy Tommy, but still. So, back I'll say, Cole, he's an okay character. He's kind of boring and bland at times. But, hey, whatever. I'm still buying, I'm still buying an LC figure, because I, I love the Wild Force suits, but still. So, moving on to, uh, let's talk about Taylor next. Okay, Taylor! What do you think of Taylor? She was kind of dead, to be honest with you. She only had, like, what, one focus episode? Well, yeah. Pretty much like one focus episode, or two, two or three focus episodes due to well, due to her Japanese cowboy having the exact same episodes. <laughs> I tell you, this show is basically American Gal Ranger. I'm sorry, there's no light like, argue about it. Pretty much, it's pretty much the exact same thing. But it's just a copy and paste, though. <laughs> oh, what? Where's my proof? Okay, Gal Yellow. <laughs> Is a flight marine pilot. a flight marine pilot. Guess what? Same for Taylor and Walford. But the, ironically, we how yet the origin for both characters were different. How how both the princesses encountered them. In Gal Ranger, <laughs> in Gal Ranger, Gal Yellow was just flying his plane, and he see this, and he see this random woman in the white. He see this random woman wearing all white appear on appear next to his window. Wild Force, a freaking Eagle Zord, a freaking CGI Eagle Zord appeared right next to Taylor's window on her plane. Just saying. Hi, hi, hi. But Taylor's cool. Personally, I kind of see her more related than Cole, but that's just me. Taylor, Taylor's alright. I wish I wish that she got more like development of the show, but hey, hey, she, hey, she got hey, she got what she got. I guess you could say that. So let's go on to uh, so let's go on to uh Taylor. Let me I'm not Taylor freak. Danny, <laughs> the Iron Bison himself, pretty much a dork. And I like Danny, pretty much a lovable. Flower dork, you have a thing for a gr crush on a girl. Ironically, that's the same thing for Gal Black and Gal Ranger. Oh, stop making comparisons. I'm sorry, I cannot stop making comparisons to Gal Ranger and a uh, freaking Wall Force. <laughs> it's pretty much both the exact same thing. There's no argument about that. To so let it go. <laughs> So pretty much, yeah. Go, we got black. <laughs> pretty much, Danny is cool. I like Danny. He what? He is a he is a big a big softy. Yeah, and then his Zord is literally a freaking bull. Sorry, a bison, but still. Then we have <laughs> yeah, Danny's cool. I like it. I, I like his relationship with Max. I, I'll go on the Max. So where? So let's talk about Alyssa. <laughs> honestly, one of my favorite, or honestly, one of my favorite characters in the show. <laughs> I don't know. There's something, there's something about Alyssa and her actress that I like. I can't, I can't explain why, but, I, but I like, but I like what, but I like what they uh, did with with Alyssa in the show. So that's uh, so, I can talk. Wait, hold on. I like what they did with Alyssa on this show. Pretty cool. Also very unique for how they did with Gal White and Gal Ranger. I like it. <coughs> also, Alyssa can cook. That's my type of girl right there, just saying. So, so let's talk about Max. <laughs> Max, what can I say about Max? Well, he, he's annoying. But at the same time, I don't blame him because he's just, he's just copying, he's just copying off his Japanese counterpart. <clears throat> Excuse me, but still. Wow, wow, for Max was a interesting character. 
he was he did got my nerves when when they treat him like a kid when they said I'm not a kid I'm like wait how wait, how old how old is Max because he acts like a kid <laughs> wasn't like Gal Blue and Gal Green like what like what like what fifteen or seventeen years old <laughs> dude I'm not. Dude, I, I don't I don't wanna go back and remember Gal Ranger. <laughs> but <st> but <laughs> but still It's like uh but still. Mac was uh, okay. Mac was okay. I like him more I like him more than Gal Blue, to be honest with you. Yeah, I remember a long time ago. I, I, I remember a long time ago that I used to enjoy Max's character. I still do. I still do. No lie. I still do. I still like Max. I still do like Max, but still. He's, he's just annoying a little bit. But hey, I can't blame him or his actor cause, because they're copying off the Japanese comic part for his character. So it's also that. So let's talk about Merrick. Before, before we talk about Princess Shayla. Shayla. Shayla, Shayla, let's talk about Merrick and Zanaku. Honestly, one of the best parts in the whole show is the Zanaku arc. It's the Zanaku and Merrick arc that happened. Just like in Gal Ranger, that is. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I feel like in Gal Ranger, they should have been trying to milk. I mean, I would say milk. And Gal Ranger, they were trying way too hard. They, they were trying way too hard to bring back Loki, and I didn't like that. in Gal Ranger, like, okay, okay, so so this is so this is the Japanese version of Zanaku. He's pretty dope and awesome, just like an American counterpart. Oh, and they're still talking about him after like a couple of episodes after they defeated him and destroyed the mask, and they're trying to bring him back. What? Why? Why? Why are they trying to do that? There's no point in them doing that in general. And I don't know why. They thought, oh, let's bring back Loki, because why not? No! Don't! <sighs> I'm not talking about Gal Ranger, but still. I'm, I'm not. You're never going to see me on this podcast talking about Gal Ranger, because Gal Ranger is just. Uh, one thing, I will say this. Wild Force, I'm happy that Wild Force didn't do that, because it would have been annoying. So, like I was saying, Merrick! Merrick, Merrick, Merrick. Before we talk about, let's talk. Let's, let's talk about the. Let's talk, let's, before, let's talk about Merrick first. Then I'll talk about Zanaku. Merrick, one of my favorite characters in the show. Frick, I still, I still, I still love this guy. <laughs> oh man, after all the yeah, after we watching it, getting to Zanaku art, I was like, my boy, Merrick, let's freaking go. And I'm, I'm happy because I'm I have his, I have his lightning collection figure on my desk right next to me. But still, posing that figure is just a blast. You can see it on my Instagram page. But it was so awesome seeing Merrick again. Like, Merrick! My boy! How are you? Merrick one of my favorite Merrick's one of my favorite six rangers, by the way. Just wanna be honest. Just, just wanna tell you guys that, okay? He's one of my favorite six rangers. Probably my top five. With with Cam, Trent, Sam, not Sam, not, not Sam, all in the Mega Ranger. With Cam, Trent, Eric, it also got Merrigan there, and it, it also also got like a freaking Daggermon from uh, Mystic Force. But yeah, it was so. Well, I meant Zane, my bad. There's also Zane, but still, Zane number five. No, never mind. But still, it was so cool. See, Merrick again. Like, my boy, Merrick, you're free from the mask. Now, take this G, take this freaking wolf G phone, whatever, and morph into a silver wolf ranger. Oh, man, so cool. That's so cool. And the weird thing about that, I saw watching, that's the last time I watched Wild Force was back in 2019. Yeah, I still remember everything about that show when I bought Merrick's figure. Oh man, so cool, so cool. That's so cool seeing Merrick again. Man, like honestly, the best part of the show because he's just so awesome. <laughs> I like, I like Merrick because because he took on that burden of for for what he did when he was in Aku, and he and he was trying, and he was trying to face his demon all alone. I like that. Even Alyssa told him, 
You don't have to do it alone. We're all here for you today. And I really did enjoy that. That was really good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> that was really good. Ah oh, man. Also, Mayor got also Mayor got one of the cool Zords in the show. Right next to uh, right next to the Congo Zord and the freaking and Gal Icarus. I for, I forgot I forgot what it was called in uh, I forgot what it was called in uh, Wild Force. But I'm calling Gal Icarus. <coughs> oh man, Merrick, Mer 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 have one of the cool Zords. I'm tempted to buy that mini plot of Toka collectibles because damn it, I want that Zord in my collection. <laughs> So yeah, oh, oh what I think, Merrick, so so one of my favorite character. It probably, probably one probably one of the main reason why I watch I watch the show because of him. <laughs> so let's so let's go on talking about uh. So let's go on talking about Zanaku. I talk about why I love Merrick, but I love Zanaku because Zanaku is like. The Zanaku's arc, we can say in Wild Force, the, the, the freaking Zanaku and Merrick arc in general, it's one of my favorite things about this show that I still love. Because, like, you see you see this guy, you see this wolf, you see this wolf Duke Orc, you see this Duke Orc that had the helmet of a wolf, that looked like a wolf as well, that went all black, have a deep, crispy voice, like this, like this. And uh, and yeah, yeah, you see yourself getting clapped by him. Cause like, hold on, <clears throat> cause like first time the mages fought him, he clapped them, he clapped them big time. Like, bah, 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 bam, 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 bam. oh, what's this? Is this your elephant crystal? Yeet, yeah, it's mine now. Oh, this, oh, this your giraffe crystal? Yeet, yeah, mine. Oh, these are bear crystals? Yeet, mine. Like, oh, dang. This, this man still my everyone zords. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I love it. And also, Sanaku's theme song is really awesome. I recommend you listen to it. Because I listen to it. I listen to Sanaku have one of the, the coolest theme songs in that show. And, uh, go listen to it. It's really good. I'm just telling you. Go listen to it. It's, it's really good. Oh man, this Zanaku is so cool, and also this also is Zord, the Predator Zord. I kind of I kind of like the Predator Zord more than Merrick's Zord. I don't know. I can't probably because probably because of the horn. Yeah, probably because of the horn right there. But still, and the fact that the main reason why Zanaku was being more evil every time because the Dark Wall Zords are controlling him. Huh, that's interesting. That's interesting, not gonna lie. But oh man, Merrick's Merrick is not cook so cool. Hey Hasbro, where's my L C Zanaku figure? I'll totally buy that. I'm tempted I was I'm I was still a little bit tempted to buy the Soto Zanaku figure off Token Collectible. Getting in that figure P Bandai, but still. But oh man, Zanaku's awesome. You should walk Wall Force because of Zanaku in Merrick. That's why. Oh man, I I can't explain why I love this show. I can't explain why I love this uh character. These characters, but still, Zanaku, awesome. Probably, probably one of my favorite villains in this show. Well, can I say villain? Yeah, I can say anti-villain as well. Probably. Probably, probably my favorite villain in the show. And man's like my favorite man's like my favorite like hero, you could say. And also Alyssa and Max are still. <laughs> and the others, but hey. Merrick and Naku are the cool Man and Naku are like are like two exceptions why you should watch Wall Force, so I'm pretty much trying to say. <laughs> and the same reason for Gal Ranger as well. Well, most well mostly Roki, Roki, but still, they drag on way too long, way too much in Gal Ranger for Roki. Roki, I'm like okay, yeah, I feel like I should stop watching the show, but I'll keep watching it. Well, I want to get it off my watch list. 
So, back on, as I was saying, so, back on, <laughs> back on, as I was saying, uh, yeah, Loki, not Loki, Zanaku, awesome, Merrick, so, so awesome, yeah, so, so let's talk about Princess Shayla, 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 ah, let's talk about Princess Shayla for a second, I like her, I like her, I, okay, that's weird, but yeah, uh, I like her. She's pretty cool. She uh, pretty much a Jap, Jap, pretty much the exact same version as Princess T. I forgot to say her name in Gal Ranger. From well, from well, Gal Ranger. I like that. But yeah, here Princess T looks more useful. Just saying. But uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, she's cool. She did feel like a she did feel like, she did feel like a mom type of the show, and and, that, and that's like good to hear though. So I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. <laughs> before we talk about the before we talk like about Ginger Rats and Toxica, let's talk about uh, Animus. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go on a little rant here and say that I do not like Animus. He's a freaking brat. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, well, also, hold on. Hold on. I want to say this. What was the point of them talking about? Now I'm not. Now I. Now I'm. Now I. My as myself. Myself, I ask myself, lol, I do care for the environment. I get that, okay? The environment is important. But, there's no reason for you to call out, <clears throat> there's no reason for Animus to call out the Ranger for not protecting the environment. Yet, they say that, say that, say that you guys are the Guardian of the Earth. I'm like, Guardian of the Earth. Hold on, Animus, 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 Animus. How can you say that when yet your best friend was sealed inside a tomb with a wolf mask from 3,000 years ago, had a 3,000 years ago vengeance against, against the past rangers? And oh, look at this. He stole the Zords. He almost killed them. He came out the princess and I'm gonna destroy the whole entire world. <laughs> An animus. Animus like an animus is annoying. I get that, okay? Gal range, I know, I know, okay, I know, but still. Animus is annoying! Oh my goodness! I wanted to yell so badly for him being a freaking brat. Oh my goodness. I do not like animus. I think we can all say that. I do not like animus. Simple as that. Oh my god. I wanted to I wanted to slap this kid badly and no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I, okay, no, no slap. I don't, I don't want to slap him. I just want to freaking tell him to shut up! Shut up! Because Jesus Christ dude. Jesus. Kite, you're annoying, okay? You're annoying, and I did not like you. You got on my nerves. And kids should not be talking about their environment. I'm just saying. Leave that to the grown-ups. Sure, okay, sure. There are, there, are kids that, there are kids that care for the environment. But still, why bring it up in Power Rangers? It's not like Power Rangers, it's not like Power Rangers care for the environment. Oh, wait a minute. They do. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Damn it. That's so annoying. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. We, we literally had a Sentai. We literally had a monster in, in, in Zenkaiger that was about, all about trash. And guess what? Where the heck, where the heck was Gal God in that episode? Where the heck was Gal God in that episode? Like, you're like, no, 
the environment. I must protect the environment. Like, gal, guys, shut up, dude. Shut up. Just shut up. You and your American counterpart are both annoying. Just shut up. <clears throat> Just shut up. Oh, no. If the gal rangers do it, if the gal rangers do if the wild force rangers don't say the environment, these other rangers don't. Also, Power Ranger. They're a multiple. They're like they're like multiple season, but yet they made like they made like a trash monster theme, monster, duh. And yeah, where's Animus for that? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My God, Animus got my nerves. Uh so what? So what can I say? I don't like Animus. He, he's annoying. He one. Of, he one of the biggest problems with the show, for me. So no. So let's talk about Judge Rand Toxica. Pretty much the exact same, just like their uh, Japanese counterparts. So simple as that. There's, there's, like, there's like nothing else. There's like, there's like nothing else to say about that. Well, I think we'll say this. Uh, Toxic Cuts actress. I look on her. I look on her uh, IMDb. See what she likes. See, like, I look on her. Uh, I look up what what she's doing right now for acting wise. Nothing. She's doing like nothing right now. Cause, like the last thing that she did for acting was this show. That was like what back in two thousand and one. By the way, two thousand and one. By the way, just want to just, just want to clarify that. Wild well, Force happened two thousand and one. <laughs> And this is this like this like the old thing she's doing. Wait, was it two thousand and one? Hold on. Hold on, I'm looking at, I'm looking it up right now. Do 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 bum 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 bum. I'm sorry that I'm doing this, guys. When did this show came out? Did 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 Yeah, two thousand and two. My bad. I said two thousand one. I meant two thousand and two. <laughs> but <laughs> but still, but still. Uh, pretty much, yeah. See, do not do right now for like, acting wise. If I can, from 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 all the research that I've been looking up. So let's talk about Master Org, a sad, desperate man who just pretty much wanted to have a girl, but yeah, he lost his girl. Simba is dead. He 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 ain't even a good villain. He, he's pretty much boring. Like that's it. His only go only reason why only reason why he became a villain because of jealousy over oh, oh what's this? Oh what's this? Yep, you had a crush on this one girl and you can't have her now. I'm like, okay dude, let's move on. For peace sakes. Move on. Go to a different timeline or something. <laughs> Get it. This thing ain't time for it. <laughs> but still <coughs> Yeah <coughs> Oh sorry. Yeah, he's pretty much boring. He's pretty much boring. That's that's just it. He's just pretty much boring. So before we talk about so before we talk about like uh the Zords, let me talk about let, let me talk about let me talk about a like, few of my favorite episodes. We have the Zanaku arc. We have the we have the we. We have the reinforcement for the future, and we have uh, Forever Red. And guess what? All, all of those episodes were directed by Koichi Sakamoto himself. Yes, Koichi Sakamoto. You know the guy that direct that directed. Let me say. Oh, I don't know. Hey, say Generations, Movie War, Mega Max, the Four Zane Olds movie. He directed the Galvin Decker Ranger V Cinema. 
he he directed the, the he directed the Q the Q Ranger V Cinema, the uh, Space Squad versus Q Ranger V Cinema. I'm talking about. He also he he also he also the director of Cure Major. Well, one of the directors. He he also directed uh the Re Soldier for the Cure Major movie. Yes, that was all Karichi, by the way. For Power Ranger, I think I think I remember him for like for like good episodes like like. Oh, I don't know. Uh, count down to count down to destruction because fun fact, Karichi Karichi was the one Karichi was the storyteller for that episode. By the way, what well, well, story writing? He, he he was like one of the writers for that episode, which makes it so good. By the way, I'm just saying. He also directed like he also directed the. Uh, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle team up with, with, the, with the In Space Rangers. Yes, that was all him because Kuichi did does have past experience working with turtles in Tokusatsu. Go look on IDB, you see what I'm talking about. And also, Kuichi also Kuichi also uh, directed Ultimate Trigger first episode and a couple others, but still. I could go on and on and on why I like this man. But simple as this, Kuichi had a lot of involvement in Wild Force, and I love that. <laughs> and I love that. I can tell when I said, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can definitely tell, I can definitely tell this episode directed by Kuichi because of the fight scene. Because he was a, he was a suit actor. He, now, now he, now he's a freaking stunt director, but still. Oh I man, I love it. And also, I keep forgetting that he used to live in New Zealand. In New Zealand, when when they were filming the season in the early two thousands, all the way till like freaking uh Super Mega Force. Yes, he did direct. He did direct the legendary battle in Super Mega Force. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting about that. And also, fun fact. So, Kuichi direct. So Kuichi like wanted the director for SPD, right? But guess what? You know, but you guys know that his uh, his wife was in SPD. She played the Pink A Squad Ranger. Wait, what? Yes, that was Karichi's wife. I didn't know until I found out. Cause turns out, turns out, she like she like wanted the she like wanted the stunt suit uh stunt actors. Wait, not stunt uh suit act suit actress. Yeah, she like wanted the suit actress. Right? Suit actresses for Power Ranger from uh Time Force from not that time from from Life Speeding was all the way to uh Samurai yeah Samurai she did a lot <laughs> she did well see the Overdrive all the Disney era the Samurai as well uh, yeah she did a lot for she, she did a lot just like her husband did. I know that they still made it very day, but still, but still, stuff like that, stuff like that that I love about Power Ranger. Oh man! So yeah, back on saying, yeah, Karichi. These you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell that these episodes were directed by him, and I freaking love it. Ah oh, man, I love Karichi. I can love. I love Karichi's work. He's a goat. <laughs> so uh, yeah. <laughs> What else can I talk about? Oh yeah, the theme song. Generic as ever. Yeah, I still love it. Ooh. Generic as always. Yeah, I still love it. I still, I still love it. I still love it. <laughs> so let's talk. So, so let, let me talk about what. So let me talk about Forever Red for a second. Kurichi, buddy. I know you. I know you love your explosion, but still, holy crap, my guy. <laughs> This was 2002, by the way, and yet this man, this man loved his explosions. This man loved his explosion. You could definitely tell he does. The fight choreography that episode was, was so good for was so good for how he did it. God dang! I I honestly don't know why, but like every time, every time I watch like something totally related for from Kurichi, I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't know. This guy come. This guy can make one good impression. <laughs> oh man, so cool. Also, what was the point of them saying that? What was the point of the? What was the point of? What was the point of TJ saying that? 
DJ saying, that's Tommy, the greatest Power Rangers that ever lived. Like, okay, TJ, I know this was 2004, but who wrote down the script? Wasn't High Saban? Because I know High Saban loves his Tommy and all, but really? That was unnecessary because Tommy ain't the greatest Power Ranger that ever lived. No, Tommy's the most overrated Power Ranger ever lived. And Tommy ain't even a good character. I'm just saying. But still. I could go. I'm not going to talk about why I don't like Tommy. I, I could do that for another episode of, a, of my podcast. But still. Oh, no? Okay. If this video gets like 20 likes, I will talk about why I don't like Tommy as a character. Simple as that. I'll get my pros and cons about him. And, but still. <sighs> so back on uh, so back on as I was saying <laughs> so back on as I was saying that don't episode yeah Kirichi made those those were some good episodes Kirichi did I love it <sighs> I love it. Oh man, I know that Koichi wasn't was like the only Tokusatsu uh, suit actor and stunt director who who directed Wall Force. I know I know that I know I know that I know like there are many others who did as well. Direct direct this season and made other Power Rangers seasons after he uh, after he went back to Japan after well Super Mega Force. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. So yeah. So uh back on I was back on I was saying it. Yeah, don't look at the episodes. <laughs> Yeah, the Ranger, the Ra all ten Red Rangers fought the big bad beetle borks, pretty much. And also, a uh, fun fact: two out of five, uh, two out of five of the big bad beetle bork cast is voiced by uh, past Power Ranger voice actors and voice actress, but by, by, by past Power Rangers in general. Go look. Go on the wiki and you see what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, Wall Force. What what do I think about it? <sighs> Cole can have been a Cole can have been a better character. He just he just felt kind of bland there. I did enjoy the, I did enjoy the story arc that I did enjoy the storyline that he was trying to find his parents. The final battle was kind of boring. Also, what was the point of the final morph sequence before they lost their power? Cause like, what the heck was that about? And don't get don't don't even get me started on the freaking on the freaking new blaster that they have. But <laughs> I get it, okay, I get it. It's a fucking okay, 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 okay. I get it. it's a new toy, right? I get that. Oh, sorry, I get it. It's a new toy. But what was the point then? What was the point of them using that new blaster? That new cannon? <laughs> My God, I know! Saban! I know y'all, I know, Saban, I know that you guys lost a lot of money on the Forever Red episode, but yet you guys blew the budget for Tommy. Man, y'all had to go to Bandai for that money. <laughs> How do I know this? Linkara. Go watch his. Go watch. Oh god, can't go say this. A long time ago, but I used to be a fan of Linkara. His history at Power Rangers video was like was like one of the few things that got me more into the kind of say like got me more into Tokusatsu. And uh, he brought up a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting things about Wild Forces behind the scenes for that team up. And uh, one of them was the bond lost a lot of money. They blew the budget on the CGI Surfer Taylor, pretty much. So they had to go to the Lord and San Lord Lord and Savior Bandai America, and Bandai said, "Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, we'll give you the money, but for one thing, y'all gotta put y'all gotta put this new toy in your in this episode, the Wild Force Rider, Cole's uh, CGI bike that he used to feed. <laughs> Defeat one the big bad beer boy surfing Terra. <laughs> ay ay ay. Also, I want to say this for episode. I love the fact how yeah Andrew said I. I love the fact how yeah how yeah the Andrew said said I'm the savior of two worlds. Like wait a minute, hold on, Andrews. Yeah, you kind of are. You kind of are savior of two worlds. Your home planet and planet Earth. Where your girlfriend's at? <laughs> yeah, he yeah he pretty much is a savior to her of two worlds. Get it then I did get it then get it then Leo did help us well. Not gonna lie, I do I do love the I do like the in space and lost galaxy team up. That was, that was really cool. I, I I love that. Okay, I love that episode. Okay, don't leave me alone. I know Karichi did not direct that, but damn it, it felt like it felt, it felt like it felt like he did. Just don't know why, but it just did. But probably, probably because probably because probably because of the stunt coordinator. Cor I can't talk. I can't talk. Probably because he might do the stunts, but who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> and the fact that uh. And in fact, Eric said that my key, my key rex can defeat his dragons. On it. actually, Eric, your key rex is way your key rex is way stronger than, than Tommy's dragon zord. Just saying, like for Pete's sake, his zord can't even turn into a freaking megazord while three other dinosaurs. Yours can. And then his 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 has a cockpit. Cockpit. Yours don't. Oh yeah, I love that episode. It's so cool seeing TJ again. TJ's awesome. I want to, I want to meet actor one of these days. Oh man. So old Wolf for Red. So still one of my favorites. I love that. I love that team up. I remember I remember I used to love it as a kid. And I still do to this very day. And also, if I can remember it, that was like what? Like what the like that was like what? Oh, uh, like, 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 what, the Triumph Anniversary for Power Rangers, I think it was? So, so look at all, so look at all these past Red Rangers here. <laughs> Except for Red Alien Rangers, because his voice actor, or his actor was kind of busy around that time, but still. For like, I'm sorry I'm stuttering, I'm just, like, too excited for this episode. So, fun result, what do I think about Wild Force? <sighs> Some stuff still holds up to this very day. Others don't, and one of the fact that a cold actor, uh, well, if you know what happened after after he was done after Samurai, you know you know about Cole's actor, so I'm not gonna bring that up. But yeah, something something still something something the show still lives up to this very day. Others don't. I'll get I'll get Wall Force a B. It's it's good, but not like ten out of ten. Do they get mid? No, not mid. I don't think I don't think Wild Force I don't think Wild Force is one of the best seasons, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Post my no post my notification on my next video because next time this podcast we'll be talking about Common Rider Exade. And oh boy, Exade's gonna be a fun one. I cannot wait. So yeah. Till next time guys. Ciao.